Today is December 1st, and that means I've now completed my November 2019 gratitude journal. I did a previous video to show the setup of this album, and I'll link to that down below so you can see how different it looks now that it's complete. Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper, where you'll find inspiration to scrap your stash and get some pages done. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the bell icon and the subscribe button so you won't miss any ideas. So each day in November, I like to keep a gratitude journal. This is the third year I've done this. I will also link down below to my previous year's gratitude journal videos. And each day I like to journal or sometimes, as in the case of this, just put a photo and what I'm grateful for. And it varies from day to day what I'm in the mood to do. On the first, I chose home. Living in the country is page two. Electricity is day three. Family vacations for day four. Paper. I put a picture of a tree. I am amazed by the abundant supply of paper and paper products and I'm very thankful for that. Friendships. Farmers. This is the view as I'm driving to work and we live out in the country where there is a lot of farmland and I'm amazed that um, our food supply is so consistent and we need to take time to think about that and be grateful for that. Leisure time, something I'm definitely grateful for. My daughter, Audrey, she was born on November 9th. She recently turned 21, so I dedicate day nine to Audrey. Family, we were recently in Nashville to visit our older daughter, Kelly, and I dedicated these pages to the family time we enjoy. My husband, Jeff, My sister Denise. Photo opportunities. We really enjoy taking photos. Well, I do, and my family entertains me. So I love a good photo op. Change of seasons. So I journaled about what I like about the change of seasons here. Flowers, I am allergic to flowers, but I do enjoy seeing them in nature and taking photos of them. Art, I have always enjoyed creating art and appreciating art of others. Trees, this is a little tree that was planted in my mother's backyard from an acorn. It will be interesting to see how it thrives. Laughter, movies, we have a blast going to movies and we love to eat popcorn and we enjoy all types of movies. The only type of genre I don't enjoy is horror movies. Our dog Max. Our daughter Kelly was born on November 21st so I am dedicating the 21st journaling page to her. We love to play games. Education. I just journaled a bit about our education and how much I appreciate it and enjoy learning. Our parents. Jeff's dad and my mom. We are thankful for our parents for sure. Toys, I love to be a kid at heart, and I have this set of toys at my desk at work. I change them out every once in a while. 
reminds me not to take things too seriously. I do love zoo animals and the educational aspect of zoos. Fuel. We recently, the day before Thanksgiving, we ran out of LP gas and um, it was just a snafu that they didn't keep the tank filled. And um, we were very fortunate that because of a bountiful fuel supply, we were able to correct that within just a couple of hours. But fuel is something that you can take for granted. And um, I woke up that morning to a cold house and it made me make sure to put that in this journal. Holidays, we do enjoy getting together on holidays. This was on the 28th, which was Thanksgiving this year. Black Friday deals. I journaled a bit, I don't have a picture, but I journaled a bit about what we do with our shopping. I put in a couple of things from favorite stores. And last but not least, for day 30, we like to go to Denise's retreats and we have made many friends there scrapbooking and so I dedicated this page to Denise's retreats. I will link down below to the setup of this album as well as previous year's albums. I hope that um, you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on scrapping everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.